it's Cancer Vice, Hello Warmer here and welcome to my channel. I really really hope you like what you see. There's epic music videos, there are tutorials and there are vlogs to show you behind the scenes and what I do in my days when I'm not performing for you guys. So this vlog is a compilation vlog of a few days to try and get the best bits in there and also to show you this one's a little bit more um, showing you the mundaneness behind this. So, great video. But, um, yeah, it's, it's some funny moments. Hopefully you enjoy it. And if you love it, make sure you subscribe and like. And today you're in, well, today I'm in my music studio and I'm at the computer. So, what I'm working on today and what I was going to talk to you a bit about is the, the amount of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. So I'm currently, it's October right now, and it's one of my favorite times of the year because everything's really cool. So I can't stop fiddling my hair because it's all curly and wavy, which is like me. So um, at this time of year, it's, um, yeah, it's my favorite time of year. And also we've got a lot happening. So as well as I've got a commercial release coming out, and then also my non-profit, uh, the Warm Music Group, they're having a, non a, um, a commercial release coming out. So pretty much my non-profit and me will be competing for sales on iTunes. So um, a lot of work goes into that. It's not just the recording process. It's also the kind of um, the music videos to go with it. In this one I need album art or well, single art, so cover art for the whole thing. And it's all coming together, all the projects are coming together loads, but it's, um, yeah, hard work. But I, I think it's happening well. In addition, what I'm actually doing today is I'm arranging all my brand new Stage It shows. So Stage It, for most of you know, I just uh, performed regularly like classical musicians do, um, touring and stuff, up until 2016. And now I'm trying to um, get all the my classical music online, which is, um, it's quite, it's a challenge, but there is, it's fun. But it means it's a whole new audience, um, but it's a wider audience, so it's less touring. But basically, bringing all the music online means you have to restart again with a whole new fan base because most I'd say about 80% of my audience my classical music audience when I was performing were not online probably very rarely if ever use YouTube and stuff like that so my biggest love is the concert venue stage it it's www.stageit.com and that is um, where I still do my life performing but I'm trying to get the shows bigger and better. One thing we had was internet connectivity and also the software I was using, it was too big to produce. It was jumping a lot in the shows. So I was going for big backgrounds and stuff. We're redeveloping the show and that's going to be coming out in December. So a lot's happening in December for me actually. Um, single release, my non-profit single release and stage it's are starting up again. Um, so what I'm doing is we've got all the shows planned out. And then all the scores have to be printed for me. All the backing tracks have to be arranged. Some of them are my own music. So some music that you will hear on this YouTube channel is going to be arranged for stage it. But it means going through it and taking off the solo part um, and redeveloping the music so that it's made for a solo line. It's not a problem with some of the pieces like um, Palladio. That's fine. Things that are difficult are stuff like Malibu, where I actually did that arrangement as I went, and there's no written score for it, so, ah. Um, so each one of these arrangements are done in a different way. Some of them are pretty much, again, um, uh, what is it, Hands of Gold. That is done, a lot of that, the middle section, is pure improvisation, me playing both violin parts. So that's really difficult to get down to a stage at concert. But yeah, that's what we're working on. So what you're seeing here, you can hear traffic actually. We're right by a main road, but we're in the middle of nowhere, but right by a main road. But this is my music studio. I have been um, sharpening pencils today because it's a glamorous job being a classical violinist. But yeah, pretty much the studio, I can show you a little bit here. Um... There you go, that's one of our pianos, my violin case, that's Muriel there. So this is the main room and the entrance where the big computer is. And then round the corner over there we have 
the recording studio and the production studio where you'll see um, where we stream from and a lot of that things. And then over in there we've got the smaller room which is the small practice room. So what I'm actually doing today is I've, um, yeah, organising all my stage at concerts. Um, and this is like a huge mammoth task. So basically every concert I've got an overall running plan of all the concerts coming up. And then every one of those has to have all the accompaniment music organised onto a thumbnail, a thumb drive. Oh, I'm so cold today a thumb drive and then all the original scores go in here for each concert so it's actually people see this online stuff as really kind of like so much fun and it's a lot of fun and games but a lot of organization goes into it and you have to be incredibly organized which is to be honest not my skill so i think i have to be like 10 times more organized than the average person so today it is pretty much all of this Organising from, let's see, we've got Schindler's List here, we've got The Seasons, we've got Brahms, we've got Shadows, we've got um, Sibelius Violin Concerto, and all of this is going to be organised into the various categories that it should go into. So, um, yeah, you can watch me do that, what a fun day. <laughs> Let me get on. Um, okay. wondering why I haven't actually got any real music is because IMSLP is probably the best way to get music so it's an online database of music um, winter movement three I can't even get these purple clips off Da -da, got one I think this could be the end of the page number, but bar numbers, it does have bar numbers, which 110, 111, 112, 113, yes, jackpot, and this one goes up. I need to find my ladies in lavender music because that doesn't seem to be anywhere. Okay, spring movement one, I think I've got spring movement three. Let like everyone knows spring movement one off by heart, don't they? So, the music. Dun, 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 dun. So it's the 31st of December, it is Halloween, um, but there's no rest of the wicked. So after the very first upload of my Christmas release last night that hopefully you're all going to get, I'm now heading to the, record, uh, the radio station where I'm going to be recording my radio show for this weekend. So it's going to have a Halloween theme, plus it's going to be totally promotional <laughs> of my single. Um... And then after that, the radio station is right near a shopping centre, so I'm going to be spending some time trying to get some Christmas presents and looking around there, because as a classical violinist, you tend to like fall out of sync with the modern world. It's like, what, it's Christmas soon? And so I have had years where I'm like buying everything last minute, 
and I really don't want to do that. I've got someone over here nodding about that. So I really don't want to buy anything last minute. I have already got some stuff, but I'm I'm not a big shopper. I don't like shopping because um, it's stressful. <laughs> so I hate looking around. I hate too many people. I, I like stuff. I just wish someone would shop for me. So, I mean, because you're probably looking at me with all my photo shoots and stuff, and like, oh, she's always like wearing different clothes or, you know, promoting different perfumes or something. Yeah, but I don't actually like buying them. I like using them. Um, it's like cruise holidays or any sort of holidays. I don't actually like buying them. I like, I like just doing them. So um, today, because after I film my radio show, it's gonna be like just a mid-morning just close to lunch then I don't think it's gonna be many people shopping it's a perfect opportunity for me to not stress out so I'm gonna show you a little bit of that as we go so um it turns out that the studio's double booked for the show so instead I'm gonna do my Christmas shopping first of all and whilst I was Christmas shopping ooh, look what I came across so um open yet so I'm literally at the North Pole before Santa's even ready so I, I feel for once once in my life I'm always so late for Christmas I don't think that Christmas should happen early and for once I feel that I'm gonna be one of the first people to get a Christmas vlogger so really pleased about that and let's do a little bit more shopping I say okay first um, section I came across and it's Yankee Candles and I've just got to show you oh, oh my god this festival cocktail right now it's uh I was right to go shopping at this time of day oh my god you got to smell that okay. oh. and then let's see it's like a whole section for Christmas it's amazing oh I nearly dropped something there let's see oh cinnamon sticks these ones are pretty good but my favourite things here are the new Yankee candle holders, which are, as you see, this may be a mirror image, but that is pretty, pretty cool. And all the displays like this. So actually, um, for someone who hates shopping, this is not so bad. And I think I'm going to get some Yankee candle stuff for my house and maybe some friends. Okay, so I'm finally in the studio and um, I'm just recording my show right now and today is like, I don't know, it's a really, really special day, like threefold special day. Number one is Halloween. Number two is that um, I've got a new YouTube video coming out, a new music video coming out at 2pm. And number three is that today I'm going to be putting on my radio show the very, very, very first um, airing ever in the whole world, like historic airing of my new release, Winter, which I haven't released anything since 2015. I've been so busy working on different projects. So it's um, my single, Winter from the Four Seasons. I think by the time you watch this, then you would have already heard it on the radio. But this is second movement from Winter of the Four Seasons. And the plan behind this is that. Um, in classical music you tend to only release albums but in this day and age less and less people are getting albums and more people are accessing music through singles and downloadable music as well so what um, I'm doing is releasing a high quality single um, of the four seasons just one movement per season and then at the end of the year the entire album with all movements and all the seasons will be released um, so you can purchase the entire album of the four seasons 2018 at the end of the year so one year from now but until then that I'm releasing singles from it so yeah it's an amazing project and I'm really happy and in approximately about 15 minutes I will be putting it out there on radio so 